Tachahao, Gabby here from Ray Studios, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Boya PBN 3000S. First, let's get it out of the box. All right, let's see what's in the box. Oh, it's very nice to see they included a windshield cover, also known as Dead Cat. And besides that, inside the box there is also a bag, which looks like it's leather, but I seriously doubt it's going to be leather, just because of the price. Oh, there is also an instruction manual, which is all in English, as it should be for the international market. And there is also a guarantee card, which is also in English. So let's go ahead and open the bag. By the way, this bag is padded, which will offer um, a fair amount of protection to the microphone. So here is the mic. Uh, I have a phone cover. As you can see in size, it's very similar to the Rode NTG4 and Ceramonic SRT1. They included a shock mode, which is actually pretty nice and, and easy to use. And not many microphones will include that. You can adjust the position of it, which is also nice. And besides that, um, there is just the microphone itself, which have a, a single switch that go from off, on, lock a filter, and your three pin XLR connection. All right, so before I go ahead, uh, I, I forgot to, uh, to get this into the unboxing. That's because that was inside the bag and I haven't realized. So there are four rubber bands, and there is also a 6.5 millimeter headphone jack adapter. Now, as you can see, this is a great value package, especially at this price point. You get a free dead cat, a really nice bag, which is, by the way is padded and looks like fox leather, even so it's, I'm pretty sure it's not, but it's really nice. I mean, usually you don't get any of that with any microphone you buy, even the more expensive microphones. And this is actually very, very affordable. As a matter of fact, the microphone, which is right here, that's what I'm using right now to record this audio. So I saw what better way to review a mic than to use it. So you can tell me how does it sound like. Uh, nonetheless, uh, beside this test, I will also take it later to a studio and test it out there and I also uh, take it outside uh, and I test it there and also test it during an interview. But so far, so good. I already listened a little bit to the audio and it sounds pretty damn good. This mic, uh, I believe, is quite unique because it's basically a modular microphone. So it means there is a preamp uh, where you put the battery, which, by the way, takes uh, AA batteries, which I find it to be really convenient because rechargeable microphones, well, you know, if you forgot to recharge it or something happened, you forgot it open and you go to shoot the next day and you have no battery, you can have all the people waiting for you. It's like, oh, let me charge it for half an hour or so. That's, that's just crazy. You need to have batteries. And nowadays it's very easy to find lithium ion batteries that you can recharge, have two, three in your backpack, boom, plug them in. If for some reason the battery is dead, just replace it and that's it. And if, even if you don't have batteries, just go to any convenience store and buy one. And like I was saying, this is a modular microphone. This is the S version. S stands for small, there is M and L. And basically, well, you have different um, capsules that you can adapt to this preamp. Uh, so you don't need to buy the whole microphone, the whole system, but you just buy the different capsules. And then you can change capsules on the go while shooting. And it's just pretty convenient, depending on which kind of audio you want to get. If you're going to get a little bit more of your surrounding, you will use the S, which is I'm using it right now, which is the, the small. And this could be also good for interviews, in which you might have a slightly wider uh, pattern. So this have a 70 degree angle pickup pattern, which is, um, you know, somewhere around there, right? I mean, let me see, 70. Um, that's pretty good for interviews, um, maybe for voiceovers like I'm doing right now uh, on a controlled environment. And then you also have the M for medium. We have a 50 degree pickup pattern, so it's a little bit more narrower. And then you have the L for large, which have a 30 degree angle pickup pattern, which is pretty narrow. And it's actually three times the size of this one. It's pretty long. So that's a very interesting system. I would like to test some of the, the bigger um, uh, capsules for this mic. Um, it's great that this work uh, through an XLR cable. You can connect it to a um, wireless system like I'm doing it right now. So I have it connected to the wireless system and then to my uh, Canon EOS R. Um, I can basically record my entire audio like this. I can probably do all my videos like this. It's pretty good. I could also have the microphone slightly off frame, I included on the frame so you can see it that I'm actually using it. But so far so good, I really like the audio quality. So now let's take a, a, a listen to how this sounds on the studio and outdoors.
All right, so I'm now on a studio recording. So this is a treated room with panels all over the walls. There's a carpet on the floor. Oh, it looks like the air conditioner is low. That's funny. But anyway, it probably would be a good testing anyway. I'll turn it off in just a second. So I got the microphone mounted right here. You can see it just barely on the shot. And I have set the levels to minus 12 decibels. I'm using the Zoom H5 audio recorder. Uh, yeah, it's recording a um, mono signal. So it's a single channel recording in. And I also have a lavalier clipped to my camera so I can sync the audio later in post. So I'm using the Rode Wireless Go with the lavalier Go, I guess, the, the one that came with this microphone. And everything is, at least this is plugged into my Canon EOS R. And well, this is into the audio recorder and I later gonna synchronize the audio in post-production. So this is how it sounds with air conditioner on. Uh, I'm gonna go switch the air conditioner and test again. All right, so I managed to turn off the air conditioner and this is how it sounds like on a treated environment in which it's very quiet here. And actually, this is our recording studio. And next to me is a, a band playing. I can actually hear just a little bit, but yeah, this is another treated room, which is supposed to be soundproof, but they're quite loud. Still, you can hear a little bit now that they stop playing. I don't know if you can hear that on the video, but yeah. Uh, so now the microphone is at about, I, I get a little bit closer, so like yeah, expanding my hand, I can almost touch it. So it's about maybe 20 centimeters from my mouth. We should be getting pretty decent audio. I set the levels to minus 12 decibels on both the camera with the lavalier and on this one, which is, yeah, about minus 12 to minus 6. It's bouncing around that. Uh, that range, and this is how it sounds like. But nonetheless, uh, testing it here on the studio, maybe it's not such a great way to test it out. So I'm gonna take it outside and test it again. All right, so I take the microphone basically on the balcony. So it's kind of like a mixture of uh, different background noises uh, to see how the microphone actually performs. So how good does it capture my voice? I have set the, the level somewhere around minus 12 decibels. This is the Zoom H5 audio recorder, same one I was using on the studio. And yeah, the mic is very close to my mouse. It's about, it's a little bit closer than you will use it on a normal bumpo. That's because I wanted to include it on the screen and I wanted to capture really good audio. But yeah, I suppose I could come back there. That would be a normal distance for bumpo. Um, how does that sound like? Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, by the way, uh, there is a construction here. There's a lot of traffic there and this noise everywhere. There's also the office right behind the camera. So yeah, if it sounds good, it's probably good. Um, for my last test, I'm gonna test it out using it as an interview and microphone. I'm gonna interview some of my friends here. All right, now I put the, the windshield cover. And that's because it's a little bit windy. I don't think really the wind will affect that much, but nonetheless, I have the windshield cover now. And I'm here with Rika because this is a, basically an interview and microphone. And um, Rika, what is your Chinese name? Really? You, you ask my Chinese <laughs> name? Uh, my full name is Chen Cai Bo, yeah. Boya, like the microphone. Can you believe yeah. that? You have to say it like a microphone. Okay. Just, boy, I just asked you a couple of questions. She, she's, she's from the office. Um, I just asked you a couple of questions just to test the microphone. So where are you from? From which city? Uh, Zhangzhou city. Yeah. Zhangzhou city. They have some really delicious food there, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, delicious food. And, and my hometown also have... Uh, hey, what did <laughs> and they have beautiful girls as well. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yes, of course, you say. All right, so uh, how old are you? 22. Do you have a boyfriend? I have a girlfriend. She have a girlfriend? Yeah. Ah, that's nice. What's your girlfriend's name? Uh, my... I... Uh, the friend... Her friend usually call her orange. All right, yeah. orange. She have an orange girlfriend. Yeah. That, that sounds like interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so you are only into girls, not into guys. Uh, excuse me. You, you only like girls, don't like guys. No, 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 no. My, my ex are totally boy. Okay, so you like everything. Yeah, so uh, she's my first girlfriend. All right, so this interview turned pretty interesting at the end. <laughs> this is interesting, I hope you guys like it. So you guys, you have no chance here with Rika. She's into girls now. All right, so I think I conclude now the testing. Thank you, Rika.
Thank you. All right. And yeah, and I'm going to go back home and get the conclusions after I listen to the audio because I yet haven't listened to the audio. I hope it didn't clip because sometimes I talk too loud, but yeah. Go back home and uh, I'll give you my conclusion. Okay, so I did clip once or twice during that interview and that's because I talked too loud, the girl was talking too soft. And uh, yeah, that was a funny interview anyway. But uh, yeah, I think it's just gonna give you a, a general idea on how this microphone work uh, during interviews, outdoors, indoors, at the studio, in different situations. Uh, to be perfectly honest, in my opinion, this is an absolute great value microphone. I mean, you're not gonna get better than that, especially this price point. Definitely at this price point. I think there is nothing that is as good as this one for, for what this microphone costs. And also the possibility to exchange the capsule for a much, much longer capsule with a 30 degree uh, angle pickup pattern, which is very narrow. It will be fantastic for, um, for, for short films and for, for more professional work. So yeah, it's absolutely great. I really like it. I highly recommend it. If you like this review, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. That will help me a lot if you do. This is Gabby from Ray Studios, and I'll see you on the next video.